Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on the Enterprise Data Dissemination Informatics Exchange, or EDI for short. EDI is an extensive and versatile interactive health statistics data dissemination web tool pertaining to Pennsylvania data. This video will cover how to select a data set, navigate menus, create an output table, examine and understand that table, as well as how to export the data. When starting EDI, you will see four selection menus. Begin with the first menu labeled, Select a Group. Take note that different selections in earlier menus affect the options available in later menus. For the purposes of demonstration, we will select the All Datasets group. For the second menu labeled Select a Category, select the data category desired. We have selected Cancer Incidents. Next, we select a geography from the third menu. This can be a district, region, municipality, county, state, or county-state combined, depending on previous selections. We have selected county-state. In the fourth and final menu, you select the way you wish to have your data presented. We will select table. Maps have been added and there is another video tutorial on how to create them. We will also be adding additional modules such as charts and county assessments in the future. Now that we have made our selections, we may either proceed to the next page by clicking the next button or start over by clicking the reset selections button. We are satisfied with our selections and will hit next to continue with our demonstration. After selecting next, a new set of menus appear. Here we see several new menus to interact with. The menus will be a little different depending upon the data set selected, but they all function in a similar manner. Note the menus are numbered for your convenience, and if at any point you want to know more about a particular menu, simply click the title of a menu and a help page will appear with an explanation of that menu. You can also navigate back to the first EDI page by clicking Home in the upper left breadcrumb trail of the page, or by using the EDI logo at the top of the screen. In this example, the first menu is labeled Primary Site or Type. Note there are actually two menu boxes associated with Primary Site or Type. This is because the two menus are interactive. By making a selection in the first upper menu, the second menu will offer different selections. There is also a green hyperlink named ICDO codes that if clicked will open a new tab with information on how each cancer is classified. We will select 23 primary sites and for the second menu we will select the all cancers option. These are the default selections. The next menu labeled county state allows the user to select various areas of Pennsylvania. We will use the select all box. This is located just above the menu items. Note that by clicking this checkbox, all options in the menu are now selected. For the third menu year, we are given another interactive pair of menus for selecting the time frame. Again, by selecting an option in the first upper menu, the options in the second menu are changed. We will select 1 for the first menu and 2014 for the second menu. In the fourth menu sex, we will select both male and female for the category of sex. This can be done by clicking and dragging over the two options. Alternatively, you can hold down the control key on the keyboard and then click each option individually. On mobile devices, you may actually see checkboxes for making multiple selections. For the fifth and sixth menus, we will select all races for race ethnicity an age-adjusted rate for rate ratio menu. Please note that selecting alternative options for rate ratio will change the items shown in the seventh and eighth menus, which are age and stage. We will select all ages from the age menu. Next, we will select invasive from the stage menu. To create a table, after making all selections, click the Create Table button. If you wish to start over, click the Reset Selections button. After your table is generated, the focus should automatically move down to your table. Now that you have created a table, there are a few things to make note of and utilize to better analyze your data. 
The first is the sort function for each column in your table. Each column has an up-down arrow on the right-hand side. To sort the column from lowest to highest, simply click the arrow symbol next to the column name you wish to sort. To sort the column from highest to lowest, click the arrow symbol next to the column name again. Another utility is the ability to click the column titles in the table. By clicking the name of a column, a help window will appear with an explanation of that column. Finally, there are footnotes at the bottom of the table explaining missing values, limitations, or other information pertaining to that particular table. If for some reason your menu selections cannot find a particular statistic, you will get the message, data for selections are not available. This may occur for various reasons, depending on the data set and selection criteria. A very important feature of Eddy is the ability to export data from a table to a PDF document, Excel spreadsheet, Word document, type delimited text file, or a comma delimited text file. To export a table, simply click the floppy disk with green arrow symbol at the top of the table in the gray divider bar. This will make a drop down menu appear. Click the appropriate format you wish to use and if prompted by your browser, make a selection to either open or save the file. Remember, you can always return to the first page to select a new data set by clicking Home in the breadcrumb trail or the Eddy logo at the top of the screen. We are still in the process of adding modules, data sets, and functionalities to the Eddy system. If you wish to contact us or to provide feedback, please click the appropriate hyperlink at the bottom of the page. We hope that you find Eddy to be a useful resource. Thank you.